Turning over to grim economic figures for the domestic economy, South Korea's major economic pillar exports continues to fall for the seventh consecutive month on slumping chip demand. Our Yi Soo-jin tells us more. South Korea's exports continue to fall short of its imports last month. Data from the Trade Ministry released on Monday shows that exports fell more than 14 percent on year to around 50 billion U.S. dollars in April. Monthly exports have seen an on-year decline since October last year. This is largely driven by the slump in the demand for chips, the nation's key export item. Exports of semiconductors last month were down over 40 percent compared to the previous year recording an on-year decline since last August. The nation's outbound shipments to China and the ASEAN region both tumbled more than 26 percent, both areas where a large share of exports consist of semiconductors. The trade ministry said that the on-year decline in April's exports is also partly due to the base effect, as last year's exports were the highest ever for the month of April. Meanwhile, imports came to more than $52 billion, down 13.3 percent compared to the previous year. The drop was mostly due to the value of energy imports falling more than 25.8 percent on lower global energy prices. Imports, however, of items crucial to the nation's high-tech industry, such as semiconductor equipment and secondary battery materials, rose. This brought the nation's trade balance last month to a deficit of around $2.6 billion. The country has logged a trade deficit since March last year, the longest streak since the 1997 Asian financial crisis. But the monthly trade deficit, which reached over $12 billion in January, is now getting smaller. Last month was the first month since June last year that the deficit fell below the $2 billion mark. The trade ministry said that it will focus on finding and investing in promising items that could strengthen exports. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.